Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Desi. I'm Death from Above. Today, we have a God Roll Guide, the first of Season of Dawn on the Steel Feather Repeater. So what I like to do in my God Roll Guide videos is I will take a look at a gun in Destiny, talk about it, talk about what I like, what I don't like, how it plays in different scenarios. We'll talk about the, uh, the role that I have. We'll look at the other perk rolls that you can get, all the different combinations. I'll tell you which ones I like. Which ones I think could be God rolls. My God roll may not be your God roll, but it still could be a great roll. And uh, we're going to have some fun chit chat and maybe make a few jokes here and there. So let's get to the Steel Feather Repeater Auto Rifle. There's strength in delicate things. So this was the first uh, weapon I got, the first Saint 14 weapon I got. I like how they have the little talon right there at the front. I wonder what that's foe. Just, you know, little, little get at your enemies. Um, this role I have is decent. I don't know that I would keep it. Um, probably ground out a different one, but it's interesting. Uh, it is a rapid fire frame. I got corkscrew rifling, full bore, alloy magazine, extended mag, slide ways, and surrounded. So if I slide, I reload, and uh, bonus damage when three or more enemies are in close proximity. Doesn't happen as much as I was wanting to on an auto rifle. Maybe on an SMG, that's a little bit more advantageous but i'm just not a huge fan of that uh the range on this one's okay too uh we'll look at the stats in just a second but the one i have man i like it i like the gun itself it's really cool sounds uh sounds pretty fun <clears throat> so let's take a look at the uh the stats the rolls you can get and uh talk about this steel feather repeater <clears throat> Weapon stats. Impact of 18, range of 32. I think for an auto rifle, that's decent. I don't know, really. Uh, maybe not very good. Uh, stability is okay at 38. Handling's good, 44. Reload speed's actually really quick. Uh, your, your gun's gonna be different from mine because barrels, magazines, and perks all affect these things. Aim assist is decent at 72, but on an auto rifle, do you really need it? I guess. <clears throat> Especially a rapid fire framed auto rifle. Uh, inventory is good. I think this gun has a pretty big magazine for... Uh, it feels like it fires fast, but I feel like I have not run out of the magazine when I'm trying to shoot somebody with it yet, even in PvP. I did a decent amount of PvP with it, <clears throat> and it was all right. It was it was definitely not the meta, but it was neat. Uh, zoom 16, recoil 57, bounce intensity 43, 10's right on the bounce direction. Yeah, it does bounce a little bit depending on what stability you got going on your barrel and your uh, magazines. So let's talk about it. There is no curated roll. Uh, as far as light.gg is concerned, there may be a curator roll somewhere, but I don't know what it is if there is one. I do see, see some new perks down here. So let's go through the barrels, then we'll look at the magazines, then we'll look at the two perk columns that we have available. First up, we have arrowhead break, chamber compensator. I'm going to see if we got anything new here. I don't think we do corkscrew, extended barrel, fluted barrel, full bore, hammer forged, polygonal, and small bore. Um, in the barrel combinations, I'm going to want something that gives you more range and more stability for this auto rifle. Uh, handling is okay. Recoil, yeah, airhead breaks to make it nice and centered. Uh, chambered compensator. Yeah, stability and recoil help. Handling goes down a little bit. Corkscrew rifling, gonna give you that range, stability, handling. Extended barrel, range, recoil, loss of handling. I don't like that one. Fluted barrel is gonna give you handling and stability. I'm not a big, I don't really care about handling on this gun. Uh, full bore gives you range and loss of stability, so no to the full bore. Hammer forge range, no thank you. Stability on polygonal rifling, not bad, not a bad choice, depending on what else you got on your gun, small bore. Um, I think I'd probably go, what was the one that I liked? Corkscrew rifling feels like it might do all of the things pretty well. Arrowhead break probably would be the one I would go with, because it'll center up your shots, kind of, kind of bring them to the center. You can walk them up to your targets. So maybe arrowhead break on this one, let me know if you, uh, like that choice. I don't really know if I do or not. Kind of, this perk column is always a take what it gives me kind of situation. It's never it's never make or break for me on a gun, but it may be for you. So pick your poison. Uh, mag perks. Extended mag gives you plus 30. Uh, I've got alloy magazine and extended magazine on mine. Alloy magazine, I think, is more helpful because it gives you fast reload, whereas extended mag... The magazine's already pretty big on this. I didn't miss having uh, extended mag when I switched to alloy magazine. <clears throat> Appended mag gives you a little bit more mag size. Uh, armor piercing rounds. Extended mag's problem is it reduces your reload speed, so I'm not a big fan of that. Uh, appended mag will just give you an increased magazine, no negatives. Armor piercing rounds slightly increases range. Okay. Uh, high caliber rounds would be cool on this. Ricochet rounds would also be very cool on this. Uh, flared mag well for the reload and light mag for a little bit of range and a little bit of reload. I would like to see ricochet rounds on one to see how that 
how that plays out. I would love, I would love a perk that plays on ricochet rounds. Something, something over here. I do see, do see some new perks down there that I'm interested to know what they are. I don't even know what they are. Uh, but yeah, I'd probably pick ricochet rounds if I could, or high caliber. Uh, this one's not make or break it for me either. But this will have a lot more influence on it than this will. So if I don't, if I get crap here, and uh, two decent perks, I'll not use it. All right, perk number one, you can get grave robber. On an auto rifle? Nah. Subsistence on an auto rifle? Yes. I like that. Uh, ambitious Assassin also on an auto rifle for PvE mobbing? Yes. I like that. Slideways I don't like on it. I don't use it. It doesn't it doesn't work for me. Feeding Frenzy? Yes, please. I'd love some of that. Firmly Planted? I don't like at all. So I would definitely pick Feeding Frenzy. Uh, ambitious Assassin and Subsistence will be neat. And Grave Robber, depending on what your build is, may be useful. I don't know. I definitely like Feeding Frenzy. Uh, top Top pick. Of this column just as sheer by itself goodness uh second column surrounded elemental capacitor increases stats based on the currently equipped subclass solar increases reload speed arc increases handling void increases stability weird okay so if you have a certain subclass you really like using it'll give you a bonus for that subclass and if you switch it up it'll change it up neat okay uh swashbuckler kills increase Weapon has increased damage from melee kills and kills on this weapon. Uh, osmosis, using your grenade ability, changes this weapon's damage type to match your subclass until you stow it. This is a kinetic. This is a neat kinetic perk. I know I just messed up the video. Um, Multi-kill clip. And then we have Vorpal Weapon. Increased damage against bosses, vehicles, and guardians with their super active. Ooh. Neat. I'd like to see how that plays. Uh, I don't know what I'd pick here. There's some ones. There's some things I want to try here. This one, I think, as far as sheer damage goes, can give you the most. Uh, but you're gonna have to be getting a lot of kills to make that work. I'm really interested to see how Osmosis works and Vorpal Weapon. I'd love to know the damage numbers for that. So, uh, what do you think? What's your god roll with this gun? Let me know in the comments what your combination is. I like I like seeing those comments and knowing what you guys got or what you want. Uh, it's always fun to sit there and think about what you could get but definitely an interesting gun with interesting roles uh, i'm looking forward to getting more of it and seeing what i can get i really want one of those vorpal i want to get one in vorpal but uh thanks for watching guys leave a like if you did enjoy this subscribe if you want to see more i do these a lot uh and check out the links in the description they're good stuff there and uh until then until next time the secret password is uh buy low sell high and i'll see you bye